this is a good little technique right here. Uh, I just plugged in the headphones on this uh, uh, camera here, and uh, the sound quality is a lot better. I mean, I should have knew that, considered I've uh, recorded songs before, uh, but it's how things work. Sometimes you just forget that you already knew something. But basically, uh, I was sitting there watching this this. And what I, I refer to it as murder porn. Murder porn, it's basically like crime TV, like where they, like cops in a, in a way was like what opened the door for murder porn and unsolved mysteries, where they talk about unsolved murders. And nowadays they like, they just throw it in your face like this wife killed three of her husbands by poisoning. Uh, this dude, uh, he had a, a side chick in his own house and he didn't tell anyone and Merck's one of the family so he and then tries to run off and uh CSI uh those other other shows man uh yeah I, I call it murder porn and and watching these shows they're they're showing these people in pictures and they're throwing up all these signs these hand signs and shit you can see it and, it's, and they're always 33s everywhere and roses and ambers and all this other garbage and the craft is everywhere uh and just strange, they be throwing out strange, strange fucking uh, terminology and symbolism, man, uh, in these shows. And no one else seems to notice it, but I can't help but see it everywhere I look now. Because it's just like, in a way, it's like I said, man, it's like tagging, man. It's like when you're sitting at a, a, a train, and you see the trains going by, and you see tags, man. And like sometimes they throw up, like you don't know which city that came from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But anyway... In a way, they throw up these little signs, man, uh, and they flash their shizzle. And you'll see it everywhere if you if you know what to look for. I mean, it, it's just, but it's it's, and I'm not I'm not saying it's some random like uh, way. It's it's very deliberate as well. And uh, uh, I realize as well that they got these these people called crisis actors. All right, uh, basically. The people that work for murder porn for TV, where like it's like if a, a wife killed a husband, the actors are always a lot hotter, uh, you know, in their terminology, than the actual people. And in a way, it's like it's it goes to that, like in horror movies, when you there, there's two people making out in the back seat of a car, and then some guy with a hatchet comes up and chops them to death. In a way, this is that same boogeyman kind of tactic. Uh, to make you, like, terror, terror, terrorists. Uh, it keeps people in so they don't need to impose curfew. It keeps people, uh, you know, in the state of fear, it's so easy to control people. And, and I see that it's, uh, some people call it fear porn. That's, this is the true fear porn. Murder porn, fear porn, terrorist porn. I mean, those are all, this is real stuff. It's like when you overly exaggerate it almost to the point, it's like where you're, getting off on it, dude, I mean, that's really why I, I, I use that analogy a lot, of, oh, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, it's because it's, it's the mind of some people is like, it's getting off in your head, or on, on the ego trip or something as well, as much as it is sometimes, even that's more sexualized to people than actual sex is, and that's all I'm trying to say, is uh, when I'm trying to get in the people's mindset of why do they do what they do? What are they trying to say here? Why are they using this tactic? You know what I'm saying? And it's like you try to you try to fill in the blanks, man, the best as you can according to your your level of perception on the, whatever it is that you're observing. And same thing. Now I look at it and I see this is exactly what they're doing with false flag narratives. They're using the same people that make murder porn that that operate on Lifetime Network. Uh, uh, like I said, Unsolved Mysteries, uh, 